a quick tip if you want to be able to do some tests in terms of using Facebook Live from your desktop. This is available to us now. It may not be quite available to you. If so, just be patient as it is rolling out across all the different profiles and pages on Facebook. I'm now on my Facebook profile. My name's Krishna Day. You'll find me online at krishna.me, but also this is available on my business pages as well. On my profile though, using it there allows me to do some testing so that I don't have to bug people with all my updates of what I'm actually sharing. So that's the first tip I want to give you. One of the things you can do on your profile is you can set it up so only you see it or a selected group of friends or colleagues are able to see it. The next thing you'll be able to see is here it says, do I want to post a live video? If I actually click on that, it will then invite me to say something about what the live video is about. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick test for Facebook Live from my browser on desktop with no third party tools. That's the key update that we're actually seeing now. We actually don't need to use any third party tools. Now there are lots of benefits of doing so, but this is a quick way for you to be able to live stream on your profile or page directly from your desktop, which I know lots of people want to do. So I set this up to be only me, and then I'm going to click on next. I've already given Chrome access to my camera and also my microphone. So there we are, it just then loads and here I am. So the thing I want to mention here is up on the top right hand side, you'll see the fact that the page is accessing my camera and mic. And what I can do there is I can make sure that the microphone and camera that I actually want to be able to access um, for this Facebook Live are set up. So I've got several different mics and cameras that are connected to my computer, so I've made sure I've got the right one to go there. So um, I actually can also go over to Chrome and just check my media settings there. But I'm happy with all of this. I'm just gonna click Done. And then what you'll see here is this area that's empty at the moment, because that's where you're going to see comments. When people comment on your live stream, you'll be able to see them there. And the only other thing I can see here is the go live button. So I'm going to go live and you'll see a countdown timer going three, two, one. So now I can start live streaming. You can see right at the top, it says how many seconds or ultimately minutes that I'm going to be live streaming for. And down on the bottom right, you'll see the opportunity to say finish. The other thing that's really interesting, and I think many people will be really happy with this, is that if I actually host any, hold up any uh, materials, if I do so on mobile at the minute, it's reverse image. But actually, if I hold up any writing or any materials in front of the desktop, camera here, then you're going to be able to see it and the content is not mirrored. So I hope that's been of assistance in terms of giving you some tips about testing out going live on Facebook, on Facebook Live on your page or your profile. It looks slightly different in terms of where you find the live button or go live button on your page, but watch out in the article associated with this and you'll see some images about what to expect. The other thing to say is actually when I go on to click on finish, what you're seeing is the video is now ending. I now have a couple of options. I could delete the video if I wish to, let's say if it was a test and I don't want people to be able to access it or see it. And the other option I have is that I can just then allow it to go directly, in this case, to my timeline or, of course, your Facebook page. Lots more things you can do when, particularly in terms of if you're posting to a page, such as optimizing your content on Facebook um, once that Facebook Live has completed. But if you've got questions about that, then I suggest reach out to me either on Facebook at Krishna Day or Twitter at Krishna Day, or of course, you can find me at krishna.me on my website and you can come on over there and ask me questions about using live video to help you with your business communications and social business plans.